Good morning, TVL Home Economics class. Kamusta? I hope you're still safe and healthy as we thrive in the new normal. We are now on the week 8 of our lesson on cookery, which focuses on plate and present seafood dishes. But before that, let's have a recap on our previous lesson from week 7. I have here pictures of seafood dishes. What I want you to do is to identify the name of the following dishes and cooking method used. Write your answer in a sheet of paper. You have 5 minutes time allotment. Alright, your time is up. Let's check your answer. For number 1, the answer is Rillenong Bangus, which is frying as the cooking method. Number 2 is Tinolang Isda which is boiling or simmering as the cooking method. Number three is inihaw na bangus, which is grilling as the cooking method. Adobong posit is for number four, which is bracing as the cooking method. Lastly, for number five, bake sushi or sushi bake, we have baking as the cooking method. Good job! I hope you learned a lot from our last lesson. Now let's dive in to our next lesson for week 8, which is to plate and present fish and seafood dishes. I have here two pictures of fried fish. Can you describe each picture? As a customer in a restaurant, which plate presentation would you prefer? Of course, guests and customers in hotels and restaurants would always prefer food that are well plated and garnished. Sometimes, they took photos of their food and uploaded it in their social media accounts. Which is why, your food must not only be in good quality and better in taste, but also aesthetically appealing and Instagrammable. Food can be more appreciated if presented attractively. Like the saying goes, the ice eats first. Food plating is the arrangement of food on plate. How you arrange the food on plate will affect its aesthetic appeal. Of course, food plating and presentation require skills, style, and creativity. From choosing the right plate to appropriate garnish. Garnishing, on the other hand, is the styling of food by adding garnish or edible decoration to the food. The garnish should be natural simple and fresh in appearance its taste and aroma should complement to the dish and its texture and size should be suitable to the food there is no specific rule on how to plate and garnish food but knowing the principles will help you develop your own plating style the first principle is good preparation and cooking techniques. One important key elements for food plating There is no specific rule on how to plate and garnish food, but knowing the principles will help you develop your own plating style. The first principle is good preparation and cooking techniques. One important key elements for food plating is the food itself. The chef's workmanship can be seen in the neat and uniform cuts of ingredients and proper handling of food during cooking to retain its shape. Mission plus and work ethics in the kitchen is so essential that it reflects in the finished product. The second principle is the emphasis. The main ingredient, which is the fish, should stand out to create impact with your diners. Make the fish the center of attention of your plate and relate everything to it like your garnish and the sauce. The next principle is the visual sense. Visual sense refers to the size, shape, color, and texture of your dish all balance in the plate. Your food is the art and your plate is the frame. 
Always make sure that you place your food at the center of your plate and that it tells a story. Finally, the last principle is to keep it simple. Don't over garnish or clatter your plate with unnecessary ingredients. Every ingredient in the plate must serve a function to the overall taste. Most of the time, food on plate are clean, safe, and meat are more appetizing. I have here a montage picture of fish and shellfish dishes. What I want you to do is to try to evaluate if they followed the principles of plating and food presentation. Knowing the principles of plating and food presentation is essential as you make your performance task for the second quarter, which is to make a photo essay. Attached to your photo essay is your plating and garnishing plan, which is found in your week 8 learning activity sheets for cookery. Congratulations for finishing the second quarter of the first semester. As we welcome the second semester, May we continue to hope for the better days, better you, better normal. This is Mr. Deo Amante, your TVL Home Economics teacher, saying thank you and always stay safe and kind.